Cold Capacity Calculation. We all know that on board ship, we are using ship's loading program. There are various designers of this program too. Nonetheless, it's still best to gain the foundation of learning, that is, its principle. In today's topic, using ship's stability program can be better observed by starting the basic manual calculation. Let us now proceed and find out the points of the following important questions. 1. Where can we obtain the hold capacity information? Number 2. What is the most important information needed to start a calculation? Number 3. How to calculate the maximum weight each hold can carry? Number 4. How much percentage of cargo can be lifted in each hold? Number 5. How to determine the maximum loadable quantity of the cargo? Number 6. Determine the cargo intended if can be lifted or not. It is important to know the loadable quantity of the vessel's cargo hold in order to distinguish the maximum quantity each hold can load. Take into account the storage factor of the cargo. Sometimes, vessels are to load homogeneous or heterogeneous cargoes. That is precisely why we need to calculate each hold separately. These calculations depend on the accuracy of the given storage factor of the cargo. I have here an example of hold capacity table from the vessel MV Team Samba. When loading, always consider the tank top strength. This information can easily be found in the ship's particulars. So we take an example for a bulk cargo but not grain with 47 cubic feet per metric ton and the appointed cargo is 30,150 metric tons or to full capacity of the vessel. Step 1. From the hold capacity table, take the volumes of the holds. In the above example, we take the capacity of grain. In taking the volumes of each holds, please consider two things. The cargo hold volume and the cargo hatch volume. Step 2. Get the percentage of each hold. Taking the percentage of each hold, just divide the hold capacity by the total capacity. So here in hold number 1, we extracted the volume of 178,734 cubic feet. So in finding the percentage, just divide the hold number 1 volume 178,734 cubic feet by the total volume. In hold number 2, the same procedure as we made in hold number 1. Hold capacity 316,656 cubic feet divided by 1,424,997. We arrived to 22.237%. In hold number 3, the same procedure, so we have 22.233%. In hold number 4, the same procedure, we have also 22.233%. In hold number 5, the same procedure, we have 20.744%. If we check, we take the sum of all holds and we obtain 100%. The next step, 
Step 3. Apply the stowage factor given by dividing it from the hold capacity. So in this slide, if you can see from hold number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, you have the volume which is in a cubic feet. So we all divide this one by the storage factor which is 47 cubic feet per metric tons to obtain the weight or in metric tons. Therefore, the maximum load all holds can lift is 30,297 metric tons and this is without considering yet the draft but when up to load full and down the maximum loadable quantity will be 30297 metric tons or 30297 however if you have a draft restriction you must consider the total weight on that particular draft then the next step step number four take the summer draft displacement and the dead weight you can easily find this one in the plan or in the ship's general particulars be careful in taking the figures make sure that you've taken the summer draft figures granting that we have extracted all numbers bases from the summer draft which is 10 decimal 418 meters subtract the light ship from the displacement that is 39,034 metric tons minus 7,334 metric tons which is the light ship the light ship also can be found in the particulars or in the manuals and the stability books of the vessel when displacement is subtracted by the light ship we are obtaining the dead weight of the vessel if subtracted by the non-cargos like fuel oil diesel oil fresh water ballast water lubricating oil and fresh water we will obtain the cargo and constant values in here we assume that constant is 150 metric tons total loadable cargo now is 30,550 however for example the cargo that was booked was 30,150 if this is subtracted to 30,550 we can obtain the extra weight to lift
and proportion. Ciao!